Hey, what's up, guys? Watching, welcome to Snowy and Other Droids Part Three. Now I'm gonna continue on. Saving Seattle. Long time ago, when a, a family of four lived in a tiny apartment in New York, the family had a mom, a dad, two beautiful daughters. The mom was named Ariel. The dad was named Eric. The daughters were one is nine, one is you know one is eleven. Was Bella and Aurora. They were just moving to Seattle because they heard it was a pretty nice city. Since they had so much stuff data by our bus size RV, they were on the road. They were on the road five days after a long drive, they finally reached Seattle. It was dirty and polluted. They finally found a how good house. Thought the house would have a good view of the Seattle. But they were wrong. The next the next day, the parents started a new job. The kids went to school. The kids went to Seattle Elementary School. The dad was a light girl owner from 11, uh, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And mom was a dad teacher at the University of Washington. I worked during lunch. I recalled at city council. Hey, I was wondering why Seattle is so polluted at this time, asked Eric at the phone. Well, we have discovered... That a group of bad guys are out who polluted the sound or the rest of us the mayor and a scientist I allow to a worker to pollute the city. So one of the counselors Eric got early to tell uh, early today to tell his wife and the kids what happened in the city. Clearly made him and he and wife to go and go to the computer and look at the bad guy's house where it was. Okay, we're going to the bad guy's house. You stay here, okay? We should be back in by an hour. Parents were back to went to the bad guy's house, they knocked on the door. And the door opened a big a hairy big hairy man with a mad ways of standing in front. Well, what do you want? the guy said. We want to talk with you. The parents said together the, the guy let them in. The house was big and fancy, but dark and scary. They sat in the living room. We want to know who ruined the beauty of Seattle, asked the parents. We did. Why? said the parents said the parents said together so we can have a fridge and we can make this match bigger and cleaner. Right now it's dark and filthy, I have no electricity. We will not let you mess up Seattle, the parents yelled. Well, in that case, I'll put you in somewhere. The parents were put in cells, a little light. As our children were playing a board game for more than an hour, hey, I wonder what happened to mom and dad, Rebel said. I think they were locked away in the back guys' up. I'm going to come here to find the back guys out. We'll go, we'll go there right now. She went to the computer and found the location. The girls took their bikes and rode out to the back way to the house. They knocked on the door. At the same guy who Tara said said, You want our parents right now, the girls yelled. Never! The parents are reprinted for insulting me, and I'm afraid you will have to do the same to you. Ah! The girls screamed as they were tied up in the gags. Tied up in gags and chains. And once they're in one cell, they tried to get out, but the... Uh, but they had three big locks, and we all sat there crying. Then Aurora had an idea. She and her sister were going to pretend that they were fighting when they, when they saw the, uh, the girls free their parents. We were very sick about you. We called 911. Suddenly, bad guy came angry. We, uh, we, uh, no, it's now I had to kill the girls, the bad guy said, uh, very angry. He got a knife while the side the girls, but the police came and arrested them. He was put in the prison team to destroy all the cells in the house. Do you know what happened to the story, Queen? Of course. Of course you would, otherwise you would never read the, you would never have looked at the story. Anyway, the city was clean with the bare sign of the new laws. First, that no cars allowed in Seattle, only electric buses, electric trains, and bikes. In the places that the trash can, there must be a second can next to it. My well, last but not but uh, and last but important, if you litter, you will pay a one thousand dollar plan. Seattle may seem nothing to care about, but it's a crown jewel of Washington. If you look at it, it looks as pretty as New York and LA combined. Anyway, that's all for today's story.